Take 57, I'm trying to make a video on a Sunday. We're back, it's not two days later like I said it was gonna be, it's more like five days later or four days. The motor is not together. We're not gonna put the motor together today like I said we would because the lift run on back order and I can't do a whole lot until I have the lifter. So I thought, well, today's a great day to get started on the notch project. First I have to unbury it though from the mound of garbage, ice fishing equipment, kids toys, anything else that found its way on top of it. So my plan was to start with putting the rear end in and see how the fitment looks. Um, I do have wheels and tires for it. The car's mini tubbed. I don't think they're gonna work. They're the old ones, the old like drag lights off Ryan's car. But I thought, all right, we'll put the uppers on, we'll stuff it in there and we'll see how it fits. Well, obviously that's not gonna work. When I placed the order with Team Z for all the rear stuff, Zach was like, hey, make sure you get those uh, solid bushings for the upper mounts. I was like, yeah, it's already got them in it. He's like, well, are you sure? Because you're gonna need them. I was like, no, no, it's already in there. Well, it turns out these ones are different than the ones from Team Z. So these ones are really narrow in the middle <clears throat> and I need the extended ones to reach my arms, but it happens. So I need to say the rear end is not going in today. What we are gonna do though, is cover what I bought, how much it costs. We're gonna start on the front end because it got me thinking, well, I thought I had everything from the front, just like I thought the back, and I didn't. So as long as today's completely shot anyhow, let's see if we can put some stuff together in the front end and find out what we're missing so I can get it all ordered and go from there. This is from a guy, um, he had it for a notch project he was gonna work on, never got onto it. So I bought it just the way you see it sitting here right now. It's got the TBM brake mounts, which I can't afford to run those, but they're there. It's got the 5A studs, it's got strange axles in it. They're supposed to be 33, I think or 35, nobody's really sure. I could probably pull one out and look, but I don't care that much. Uh, it's got 355 gears in it. It's got the brace kit on it. It looks like Team Z stuff. Um, shock mounts. It's got the ears for the anti-roll bar. These really cool lower control arm mounts. They're serrated, so it's kind of like, it's infinitely adjustable um, wherever you want to put it. It's got the solids up here, like I said, but we're not gonna be able to use them. It's got the brace kit on the back and it's got the tie downs, which are really nice. I picked this up for 1400, I wanna say. Yeah, it's 1400 or 1450. Uh, for argument's sake, we'll call it 1450, just so nobody feels like I'm short them on the dollar totals. So after I picked up those, I bought this Team Z stuff. I kind of showed it in a little video previous, um, but I got the lowers, I got the uppers. I bought their hardware kit, which seems a little silly, but honestly, for like the 26 bucks, like 26 bucks it costs to get this bag of hardware and grade 8 bolts. If you went to your local park store, you would have spent the same anyhow. But like I said, today we're going to focus on trying to get some of this front end stuff installed. Uh, I did work on the firewall some more. That is the worst way you could ever spend any of your time. So I've committed to spend like 20 minutes a day, which gets me about that far. So one day, two day, three day, four day, five day, six, seven, seven days, that'll be done. Uh, it's not going to look like a show car. I'm basically making it look like it's one piece. Grind the heck out of it. Throw some black paint on it. Call it a day. I was checking this out earlier. So this kind of looks like the old, the old bracket guy thumper hammer job here. When you got a set of long tubes that don't quite fit. I'm not really sure. But somebody took the time to put a real nice patch kit in here after this got just demolished. Now that I look at it, I don't know if this is a header deal. This might have been a transmission deal. Uh, my old man's good for this blast a hole if you can't get to the bell housing bolts. I'm not really sure. It's there though. I don't think I'm gonna worry about it. I'm gonna do kind of like the top down. From here to here will make it look good. From here to here, we'll hope nobody sees it. Okay, I huffed all this stuff out of here. There it is. Lay it all out so we can see what we got. Bowl the dust off it. It's been under there a while. Um, I thought, well, let's get the car propped up because I've had it sitting on two by fours for a while and then we can actually work on it. Well, I picked up the car Pull out my pile of two by fours. And here's a fun fact, I own four jack stands. And they're not even good, like four of these. That's all I have in this whole this whole shop. I have made I have made a career out of borrowing good jack stands from people. Honestly, those aren't mine either. Somebody left them here. I don't have anything to set this on other than my jack. 
So we're gonna take a quick run to the grocery store. The grocery store, like they sell jack stands at Costco or something, they probably do. We're running to the store, we're gonna get some jack stands. But that works out pretty good because I don't have enough, like, enough content about this topic to do a whole video, but we're gonna make a quick pit stop somewhere. I'll show you guys something I think is kind of cool. All right, so if you follow the channel at all, um, you know we moved this spring to a different house, a little bit bigger shop. Um, and every morning I go through this little town on the way, it's like just a tiny little farm town. It's got like two elevators and a gas station. But in the town is my grandpa's old auto repair shop. And it didn't even dawn on me when I first started driving through that that was his old shop. Now he died a couple years before I was born. Um, but the relevance here is that hot rodding wasn't like a thing in, in my history. Like I don't have like some grandpa that used to race or anything like that. Uh, my dad's a first generation racer, but this grandpa on the Snazza side, uh, he was kind of the first one to get into hot rods. Um, he had like an El Camino, it was like 64, big block, four speed car, like nothing crazy, no race cars, but he had some cool hot rods. Um, and then when my when my dad moved in with my mom into, <laughs> into her, her parents' basement, um, Grandpa Snazza here that we're gonna go see a shop, he kind of helped my dad get along and work on his hot rods because dad was just getting into that stuff. So it's one of those deals like who knows if if my dad went to met my mom and met Grandpa Snazza and started working on cars with him, like I might not be making racing videos today. I don't know. I'm not gonna like sell you on this is some awesome sentimental trip. But it's kind of cool in the fact that the building is still there. Like and it looks the exact same as it did in I have a picture from 1978. It hasn't changed one bit. So I just want to stop by and get some pictures. It's like a super nice night. It's like super clear, nice sunset. Because um, it's one of those deals, like you never know, you might drive through this town one day and all of a sudden they take a wrecking ball to it. And you're like, oh great, I missed out on that opportunity. So I'm just gonna stop in here and snake some pictures quick and then we'll get back to the notch. So if you thought I was kidding when I said it's a tiny town, we're talking church, a couple elevators and a bar. But uh, this is it. I'm sure somebody's gonna come out and start yelling at me, but we'll deal with it when it happens. So I think the red is a hair different than it used to be. It actually used to have a different style of roof on it. Um, but that was from, it actually burned down in the late 80s and they rebuilt it. But I don't know how much of it got rebuilt, but the roof got replaced. And the red accents are a little different. I think they're a little bit more of a brown, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So that's about it though. I don't know, it's kind of wild. I'm kind of weird like this, but like just standing here thinking like, I don't know, like your grandpa's like hanging out there like, 30, 40 years ago, fixing some 66 Cadillac or something. But that's about it for that. I saw some cool I want to share. It's more it's more for me. If you haven't figured out, sometimes I make these videos just to document things, you know, like I don't want to forget. But um, I had like some thoughts. I was like, ah, oh, maybe I could buy it. It's a pretty small shop. I might be able to afford it or something and do some work out of it. But I don't know if it's realistic. I mean, I'm not trying to be arrogant, but like, like my home shop is probably bigger in square footage, so I don't know if it'd be like a financially sound decision. Um, but I think it might be kind of cool to get the Camaro down there and take some pictures if I can get in touch with the owner of the building now. It, it looks like it's vacant, but anyhow, that's that. Let's get back to the store, get some jack stands, keep moving on this thing. So I laid out, <laughs> kind of had to sort some stuff out because it's been everywhere, but I laid out most of the stuff I got for the car, the K-member master cylinder with the adapter kit for the firewall. Uh, this rack and pinion, it's got different tie rod ends for it. Uh, the V8 spindles, blowers, tube front, anti roll bar from Racecraft. Uh, the rear end, uppers, lowers, we already went through that. Um, so let's see if we can get the K member in here. If we're lucky, we can get the K member, the arms, and the steering on it. Just kind of see how everything's fitting. This thing is so light. Oh my goodness, it's incredible. Uh, it's, so this is the Molly one. Um, and it doesn't have motor mounts on it, which worked out sweet because it came with the car and this is exactly how I would have ordered it. So this is what I kind of meant by, I want to test fit this and see what we have, what we don't have. Kind of like the rear, I thought I was covered by buying this hardware kit. 
Um, but this is kind of one of the downsides of buying a car that somebody already stripped. So it only had the fasteners for the front, didn't have anything for the rear. And same with the, the lowers, there's two on each side. There's an inner and there's an outer. All the hardware is missing on the passenger side. The driver's side had one bolt and it did have double nut. Um, it's fine they're missing the bolts because I got new ones, but the kit doesn't come with the uh, these handy little tied together nuts for the frame side, but it's not a big deal. Um, we'll run to the hardware store and get some stuff and then I'll probably tack it together kind of like that from the factory just makes it a little bit easier to work on but key members in there so let's see how the uh how the lowers go together so i think we might have a slight oopsie here with some of these parts uh these all got purchased with the car um i didn't order them direct from team z so these are the arms if you look at the style of this compared to like, all, all the fox ones i've seen they're symmetrical it looks like a v right to the k member um, these fit the K-member correctly, I think, yeah, maybe, yeah, so these fit, um, but they just don't look quite right. I'll throw up a couple pictures here off of TMZ's website, so you can kind of see what I'm looking at. Um, these look like, like the SM95, like from 94, 95 body style that they advertise. So I'm going to have to email Team Z tomorrow and ask them because I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm bolting on here and I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, have the wrong arms or something. I'm hoping they'll work, but I don't know. I guess the biggest thing too is that I'm hoping that the key member's right. Um, I know the guys we bought this from, they do own an SN95 car. So I'm wondering if there's maybe a little bit of confusion and these parts are for an SN95. I'm not really sure. We'll just keep moving forward here. Yes, I know the bolts aren't facing the same way. And that, that's okay for now, because this is not permanent. I mean, seem kind of right. There's a little gap here, which seems a little odd the back fits really tight like i said i'm gonna keep my i'm gonna keep my hopes up for now that uh, this will work i don't know looks like it lines up maybe who knows maybe somebody's watching like hey don't worry about it man it all fits the same I'm not sure and we've got a rack which i also ordered the hardware kit for the bushing kit for it's the offset kit Okay, so this is obviously not like 100% correct. It's just kind of shoved in here, but I mean, it seems, well, it seems about right. Going off memory from the last steering, the last steering I took out of Fox Body. Um, I think that'll work. My bad, guys. I thought the camera's recording, and it wasn't. Um, so I just kind of threw this together haphazardly. Um, obviously, there's not like a bump steer kit on here. We didn't put the new tie rod ends on or anything like that. But, I mean, the geometry looks pretty close to the bump steer kit. I think it'd be just about right. It moves freely. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a front strut yet to try. Um, I bought Matt's, Matt's old ones off the Mustang. He upgraded to some Viking stuff. So I think before we get too wild and committed here, I'm going to get that email off the team Z and just see if we're in the right ballpark here. Do I need to change anything, sell some stuff, buy some stuff? Um, otherwise, it looks like it'll come together pretty decent. So as long as we get the go-ahead on that, we'll get some stuff. Sandblasted, powder-coated like the, the V8 spindles. Finish up the bodywork in here, get that painted, and then we'll final assemble this stuff. And then hopefully that stuff shows up, we can final assemble that too. And then, gosh, maybe put her on the ground. All right, end of the video wrap-up. Let's see what we're into this little disaster for. Um, I've accounted things as used prices. I bought basically these items as a kit, but I broke down into basically what it would have costed uh, individually. Um, keep in mind they're not retail. So 93 Fox Tub at 250 bucks. We got the K-Member for 200, lower control arms 100, spindles 50, master 25, and the rack we'll call it 50 bucks. Then I went about the 88. Um, like I said, it's a pretty nice unit. It had a lot of cool stuff on it. That was 1450. Got the lower control arms. I got those brand new from Team Z at 430. Uppers are the same price, 430. 
Both of these are double adjustable, Molly, et cetera, et cetera. I bought all those hardware kits for $65. I got a Team Z anti-roll bar for the rear for $125. I got that from Brian, so that was a pretty good deal. It was actually left over from the Fairmont project. Got the tube front for $750 retail. Um, I, didn't, I didn't pay $750. Yet. That was part of a trade deal and some more I needed with a car. And then the rear QA ones, they're actually off Matt's car. Um, I gave him $100 cash and then traded some labor. So $200 on that. The grand total on all this stuff so far is $41.25. Um, this is why I always say buy a roller. Don't build your own car. This is ridiculous. This is going to be like 15 to 20 by the time it's done easily. Um, and it's it's probably going to be a 10 second car. I don't want to turn anybody from building your own car. Um, a lot of these things are overkill. I mean, like all this double adjustable, chrome molly, blah, 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 TMZ, uh, this Billy Badass 88. You don't need all this stuff. Like this could have done, been done way cheaper. Um, I just, I don't know. Maybe I should have done it cheaper. I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm thinking right now because the Camaro could have used 4125 and upgrades, but I don't know. For the sake of building another car, let's build another car. I know why. Camaro didn't have a passenger seat. I want some of the passenger seat that I could drive around on the street. So there we are. We'll keep the running total going. Um, this is, like I said, this is just set on the ground, 4125, and I still need the front struts. So that's that's about it for this one. Uh, I was really hoping we could get some like better forward progress on that thing and bolt some stuff on for good, but it's just kind of the way it goes, you know. Gotta keep her, gotta keep her transparent. I don't want to. I don't want to make it look like it's all, you know, butterflies and rainbows around here. So it's just how it goes sometimes. But we'll get some more info from Team Z and uh, we'll get the stuff put together. Stand by for more.